Uh, there's a something. I had the grenade launcher, quick, yes. Grenade launcher. If I'm fast enough, I can get to the door without attacking the hunter, but it might be right by the doorway. And it's certainly going to be a pink one. Oh no. Somehow it survived three of them. Also, I'm almost out of grenades now. It's right here. The box. See, I wasn't expecting one in front of me. Like they did it again, they had one on the side, one in front of me. So even if I wanted to run, I couldn't have gotten past them both. grenade rounds left. Put this away for the moment, get ourselves some blue herb. I don't think I've ever been poisoned by those hunters before this game, before this play. I have no idea. Yeah, the hunters are no joke. Hunters have yellow eyes. Pink ones, yeah. They had, they had red eyes like like Wesker does. No idea. Put it past this game have poisonous zombies. I wouldn't put it past this game have poisonous zombies. This is the only game where you have poisonous hunters. Like, hunters alone are dangerous, but hu poisonous hunters are even worse. Yeah, these ones are kind of weird looking. So we have to go back this way. No, we don't. We can go... Yeah, we do go. We have to go back to, we have to, go back to the first floor. Put the things in. Hopefully there's not another hunter right here. <sighs> Put it past this game. <sighs> I hope so. This isn't the way I want to go, is it? No, this is not the way. I wanted to go up the loop. I wanted to go up, didn't I? How do I get back upstairs? I don't remember. That'll take us to the area with the shotgun in. I don't want that. You have to give me a minute, because I this I'm kinda lost right now. Oh, it's it's over it's this door. You have to go this way to get there, I think. Going that way just wasted a grenade round. You can take this you can go through the sewer to go up. There's no straight path in this game. You go down the ladder. You go down the ladder. Over the the, the, the um, thing we made. Up the steps.
Because if we've gone that way, we'd have had to put the shotgun in. No, we don't want to put the shotgun in. No, I think we're done with Bender Snatches. And the thing disappeared. It never. It didn't do anything. Oh, that was a. That was a ceiling light. And of course, green for last. Best color. We say the best for last. This will pull this down. That'll take us down to the, so the, the pool. Do you remember the pool? Shotgun shells, shotgun shells. Everyone loves the shotgun shells. I love the shotgun shells. Why not? Is there? I think there's some zombies down here, and then I fight the the best boss in the game. No, not not zombies, not zombies. I don't know. Is there? That's not a spider. Just a pipe. Well, the grenade launch is just about done. This is the stupidest boss in all of Resident Evil. You can't leave the pool. They literally can't leave the pool. He doesn't do anything. I mean, he can only let you, you. He can only hurt you if you go in the water. If you're stupid enough to go in the water. Hi, buddy. I died on that. It's actually really hard to tell if you hit him. This is the boss, Dad. Literally, this is the boss. You stand on top of here and you shoot until it dies. Or you can go in the water and try to walk to the thing very slowly. I wouldn't recommend it. You want to walk in the water? It's not easy to tell if you're hitting or not. I am doing that. I'm going to waste a grenade on this stupid thing. I've killed this thing with handguns my entire my entire life. It's on the other side of the thing. No, there's no zombies. Just this stupid thing. This is the thing that escaped. I don't know if you were there for that when that happened. Were you there for when it escaped? Entire boss. He's dead. No, he, he was getting hit the whole time. It's just really, really hard to tell when he gets hurt. It certainly is. 
Goodbye. And there we go. So yeah, that was the whole boss. You literally just stand there and shoot him. You just kind of shoot him from the side. The whole... If he could get out of the water, maybe he'd be dangerous, yeah. But he doesn't. He sits in the pool the whole time and looks at you. That's that's the whole thing. Huh? What? The spiders? I mean, I'm not fighting the spiders. I'm just running past them. If they poison me, they poison me. I'm just running past them. They're above me. Now this area is done forever. We can leave, actually. We're done. So there's, uh, there's fighters. They get to live. I remember getting caught by those things so many times going around here. Getting, I used to get caught by those things all the time, those lights. So we have to go down to the second, we have to go back to the second floor, go down the elevator, and go down to the uh, basement. Where the uh, tank is. Like I said, there's no straight round thing to get to these things. Well, there's a saver right before we get to the jet. That's where we're going to do the Luger puzzle. When I say do the Luger puzzle, I mean look it up and then do it. Because I'm not bothered with the notes. I don't know if we found the note or not. I don't care. It's not worth my time. To bother looking for the thing. There might be hunter. There might be a hunter out here. Hopefully, there's not more than one because we don't have that kind of inventory. I don't hear anything yet? But there's gonna be one of those um, machines downstairs. It flashes you and then tells a hunter to come after you. We never went through that thing. I feel we probably could have done that from the uh, sewer. That's probably what we were supposed to do, but we didn't. Oh well. We're, we're done this area anyways. Yep. So we're gonna do the box puzzle. The shotgun shells away for the moment. Probably We'll probably be retiring the handgun soon. This away for no, we can hold on to that. We'll put the grenade launcher ready for it in a second. This here. Oh, wait. Don't open the door. Put away the super herb. I don't think you can upgrade the shotgun in this game. I don't think so. I'll hold on to that gun for the moment. Save it. Give me a toy Luger or something. No. No, it just unlocks a uh, battle mode. That's all it does. It's um, red, blue, red, green, blue. And there you go. That's the puzzle. So it's a, it, that unlocks the battle mode. 
That's it. It just goes in your it just goes in here forever. That's it. That's all you needed for it. <laughs> Fucking dead song? <laughs> Seven, it's only 7.52. There's no Walking Dead right now. Luckily, uh, Alfred had an extra jet. Or his Hold jet on, somehow Claire. went backwards. I'll see. Either way, he had an extra jet. Chris? Chris, the... Um, actually, if I remember correctly, lore-wise, Chris is also... Extra pilot. Yeah, he was gonna. He's also a pilot, or something like that. I think. He can also pilot the helicopter. Yeah, he's going straight to the moon. Where else would he go? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't put him past him. Uh, no. <laughs> it's wind physics. It's very windy inside his house. Luckily, he knew exactly where to park, exactly to go. He was holding it like he was driving. Is that some sort of super, is that some sort of automatic pilot? That was a box that just flew away because he, uh... We're in the fourth and final area of the game, Dad. It took forever, but we're here. There's another jet over there. So the art, so this place is kind of the same as before, but not incredibly. It's the emergency elevator. We don't need to go there. So we're back to where um, all the the monsters were. But it's different. I mean, we will have fun. No, no, no. These are um, tentacles from Alexia. They don't make a whole lot of sense. And whatever. But that's just the way it is. You have to shoot them until they disappear. That's all it is. There's no point in wasting good guns. They'll hurt you if you go too close to them. They really don't make any sense. Like, they don't have... What do they? What does that have to do with an ant? Even, even Resident Evil makes a little sense at times. I mean, it's an ant. What does an ant have to do with the tentacles? If I remember correctly, this is where the crest was. I mean, this is the area where the uh, crank was. No. I mean, do you? Do you remember? We can go to these rooms. Yep. There's, there's items in there. Probably more zombies. Like these grenade rounds. Uh, I want the grenade rounds, please. Regular grenade rounds as well. Did I? My bad. They may have been there before. Or they may have appeared from when Chris is here. Either way. But yeah, this is the final area of the game. You're spoiling stuff. What mansion do you speak of? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Alright, uh, word of advice, never go that way. No, no. It's, it's a, you get attacked by like four zombies at once. No, you don't ever have to. No, don't ever have to go that way. That, that way is blocked anyway. We got ourselves a cube.
Paperweight. File. Alfred's diary. There's a sealed room in the hallway located on inside the Antarctic Bay factory facility. I don't know what's hidden there, but I don't. I, I do know how to get in there. I can use the three jewels that each one of our family members swears as proof of being a legitimate descendant of the Ashford family. The only problem is, I do not know where I can gain possession of my father's proof. I finally succeeded in entering that sealed room. I could never have imagined such an insane secret existing regarding the birth of both Alexia and myself. I hate my father, that fool, Alexander. Now it's obvious that we, that we were merely created in an attempt to cover up my father's blunder. I can never trust him again. I must regain the glory of the Ashford family with my sister. I have nothing to be afraid of as long as Alexia is with me. Alex Alexia carried out the experiment on the human body that we've been talk talking about. Our useless father must be happy now, since he can finally contribute to the Ashford family. The only thing that we should do be careful about is that Butler, Harmon, does not become wise for activities. The experiment resulted in a failure. Our father was useless after all. Even worse, he turned into a dangerous monster that is completely out of control. We tied him down and locked him up in the underground prison cell. However, Alexia seems to be close to a solution. Beyond all my expect expectations, she now says that she wishes to conduct the experimentation on her own body. On top of that, she feels she must be kept asleep for 15 years in order to accomplish the experiment. Thanks to that idiot, I can't see my dear Alexia for as long as 15 years. Alexia is going to sleep with all of her trust relying on me, upon me. Now I am the only one who can protect Alexia. It's weird how competent he is in the in the like the books and stuff, but he just seems like, like such an incompetent character, doesn't he? It's a weird contrast to the character. How like he's so silly and goofy, but he has these crazy little things about what he does and everything. So this is basically your box room for, for now, anyway. We'll so get another couple boxes afterward, but put the bot. We'll put this away for now. We can put in the grenade launcher right now, though. We don't need this right now. We'll get rid of those handgun bullets very soon. Let's save it.